All right, so this is, sounds like a fun one. Somebody asked, how do you make a radial ramp using Material X nodes in Houdini? Uh, so I'm starting here just with my uh, unlit surface, as I usually do when I'm doing this kind of thing. And so we've got a Material X ramp. Let's just look for a ramp. Uh, we'll grab what Material X color ramp. And if I plug this into my emission color, I just get black because the ramp needs an input. It's gonna, it's gonna map these colors onto something. So let's give it a text coordinate first. Just make sure that it works the way I think it does. And sure enough, uh, text, texture coordinates give me, it looks like it's probably just a, uh, yeah, it's just a single float. Um, but we wanna make this radial. So instead of just feeding the texture coordinates in here, um, let's get the distance from uh, some point on this grid to our current pixel. Uh, so the distance formula is uh, the square root square root of uh, the difference between x values and y values. So uh, see, we've got our x values, our texture coordinate here. Let's uh, separate that into. See, this is actually a three-dimensional vector, so I'll get my, uh, can I make this separate color, separate vector three. So I'll get X, Y, and Z instead of RGB. So let's plug that in here. And if I plug this in here, we should get nothing changed because that was exactly what we had before. If I plug Y in, we'll get a vertical vector. Everything is working like I expect there. Uh, so we've got that. We need a position. Um, so I'm going to make a constant. This will be a vector 2 UV spaces. I'm just going to set this to 0 0.5 in each. So we're going to have a spot in the middle of our uh, grid there. And so we want the difference between the X and the constant. So subtract uh, and material x subtract c so then x minus x um, okay so we need to separate this also um, material x separate 2 to split this into its component vectors so x minus x and see we want to square that so multiply uh, x squared, there we go, and see, we want to grab just all of this stuff and do the same thing for y. Uh, so this is going to be output y to there, and this is output y to here. So there's x squared and y squared, and now we need to add those together. Uh, let's see, let's do this the fast way. There we go, that did not work. No, still didn't work. Okay. X squared plus Y squared, and we get the square root of that equals D squared. I plug that in my ramp, and I do not see what I expected to see. Okay, so let's verify that we did everything correct. Material X coordinates, so these are your UVs coming into here. We separate, ah, here we go. Here's where I made my error. I made Y instead of Z. There we go, and there is our radial ramp. And if I move around this, we can move it on the grid. Cool. So there you go. And if you want to come over here and change the colors or whatever, go ahead and make this red to green. And we get ugly colors. We get red to orange maybe. There we go. Nice sunsetty kind of thing. So there you go. A radial ramp with Material X.